being a ritualist mm -hmm. in a movie and being a priest, I've seen you act and being uh, a lover boy, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> which is more challenging to you. All of them, because the whole idea of ministry is like you are a kid in the world, but I play lead, and you have to turn on the time. All these kind of ups and downs. Whether you are a priest, whether you are a prince, whether you are a saint, the world is up and down. So every of those roles was challenging to me because of the cyclical nature and existence. So all of them. So uh, if you were to kiss on on the movie set, yes. would you take it? Yes. I took it before. And you do it again? Anytime. If a doctor is supposed to operate on a woman, even if he's a born-again doctor, will he go in with a job or not? Will she be wearing clothes? As a theologian, I imagine that maybe kissing might not be a very comfortable thing for you to act in. I am bringing the issue of the doctor to tell you about theology. When you are doing something in prosecution of your job, it becomes your job, it becomes your work. You want to replicate the reality of life. If you can't do it well, look for another profession. If you are a doctor and you say you are a theologian and you don't want to see naked women because you say that in the Bible they say don't see her nakedness, look for another job. I mean, when you were in Nollywood, it wasn't as profitable as it is right now. No. Was we it? Were, we were the originators of the profiteering nature of Nollywood. I made fortune as a Nollywood actor. It was just 2020 that I decided to start winding up. Are you a retired actor, Nollywood actor? I've been in the profession for 30 years. And you're consumed by the love of your nation. You would come to a point where you would think that you've done enough. You don't retire from acting, but maybe from the public division of acting. I've made a determination that that should decrease so that my fight for a new Nigeria will increase. But if you if you see a road today that I've you are seen, convinced, I've seen roads. I've turned them down. There's no time anymore for me. Mm. So Nollywood, a part of you in Nollywood is dead, or is is in hibernation. You, I've already told you there's no retirement age. A part of me in Nollywood will always be alive, forever. I could go in to build a movie school. I could go in to be a producer as an executive producer, so there's no retirement age so that you are not showing yourself on the screen doesn't mean you're no longer in Hollywood. What will make you take your role now? Nigeria becomes better than America. Really? Yes. And do you see that happening anytime soon? In a generation, the possibility is there because we have all it takes. We have men, we have materials, we have money. The only thing that is lacking is the synergistic effect, the power to combine, to utilize, to allocate these resources optimally to produce the desired goods and services that will make us achieve our objectives. That leadership that has the ability to inspire people towards unusual creative ability, not to manipulate or intimidate them. That is what is lacking, and that is what we are coming in to produce, and we will do 